Growing up, I had dreams and ambitions of going into the music industry or sports, particularly basketball. It was at some point during college where I began to really process what I wanted and what God wanted. There is a huge need for pastors to go into the small, unremembered places of North America and Canada. We didn't really even know that Nebraska was a state before we moved here. We got here and it was just kind of diving in head first. Chalk Hills was without a pastor for about six years before they asked Village Missions for a pastor. We could tell right away that they had a heart for ministry just a real heart for wherever God wanted them to be. The church has grown hugely, and it's been directly because of the focus of Jeremiah, which is every Sunday, it's Jesus. There were about 12 people attending before Jeremiah came, and now there's up to around 50 to 60 people coming. If we didn't have Chalk Hills Community Church, I don't know where we'd be going to church at right now. Jeremiah likes to go around and uh, meet people. He loves basketball, so that's been a real draw for him to play basketball with some of the young fellows of the community. God allowed me to use my gift and passion for basketball to coach the high school boys here in town, which has been a sweet ministry. God allowed me to use my gift and my passion for music in the music ministry of Weekside. God opened up a door for me to use everything that I enjoy in the setting of a small town, the United States. Small town, dirt roads. The church sign says closed. Weekside is a Christian music ministry that Jacob McGowan and I started when we were 14. Like Village Missions sends pastors to small, unremembered places. We've kind of picked up on that heartbeat and organized with the intent of taking it to venues and to church settings that most bands don't look to go. Jeremiah getting involved with Village Missions has really opened up a, a huge opportunity for us to go and minister and, and hopefully encourage small churches where bigger groups and organizations don't go. In and of ourselves, our music will never make a difference. But if we recognize that we're weak, that's when he can use it for his glory to the utmost. And the question now remains, who will go where others won't go, sir? Where others won't serve, be Jesus to the forgotten of our day. And who will fight to keep the churches open, preach? The word of hope and love, the people of these unremembered places. Jeremiah is not a pastor that's sitting in an office in a church and has no clue what's going on out here. He knows what my struggles are because he's been around me. Jeremiah loves Jesus. Jeremiah loves people and that just comes out, and he's amazing. Jesus is all that matters, and it's devastating to think that there are communities all over the United States that will never have an opportunity of meeting Jesus because there's nobody that's going to where they're at. Small towns are the unsung backbone of the nation. People that go to the cities and people that, you know, get their doctorate and degree and this and that and move on from there, the majority of them start in small towns. If you don't have a pastor that's full time and can show compassion, care, visit, the church just kind of falls apart. Our church every fifth Sunday gives our tithe to Village Missions solely. And I get so excited for fifth Sunday offerings and we usually give a little more because we know it's going to such a great cause and it's helping another church community that has no other church in the town. So we, we love Village Missions. There is no better feeling in the world than being used by God. God doesn't need me. God doesn't need my wife. God doesn't need Village Missions. and 
yet he gives us an opportunity to use us. There's so much joy and an overwhelming feeling to know that God is using you in spite of yourself to be his hands and feet in this kind of a setting. And you look back over the past four years and you see what God has done, not just through you, but just in you, through the people that you're ministering to. And I can't imagine what else, what else we would do. Village Missions is life on an extreme in small town. Are you a village missionary chicken? <laughs> it's tough living in a fishbowl because everybody's looking at you, making sure you're a chicken who's not a hypocrite. Eat you for supper. You live to fight another day.